Hello, it's me. Crazy Rebecca dances with pit bulls. Welcome to Crazy Quilt Friday, y'all. We are going to do some combination stitches today. This is a sample I made up. It has our favorite Cretan stitch with a lazy daisy flower on the top with French knots for the middle. It has a chain stitch. It has just straight stitches. It has a buttonhole stitch with straight stitches and French knots. It has a single feather stitch here. Modified wonky cross stitches here. I think this is called a herringbone. And it's got lazy daisy and straight stitches. And no, they're not even. It's a crazy quilt. It don't have to be even. It has to be crazy. For me. For you, maybe it's even. For me, it's crazy. On this one... I also did some daisies. I will probably put beads in the middle of those. This is a fly stitch. And you can use it on the seam or you can use it to make a fern or a leaf. Today, okay, we're gonna do the chain stitch, the daisy, the buttonhole and whatever this is so <laughs> I should write a note right now <laughs> okay I am using DMC 5 5 5 5 okay um, this is what happens when you actually use it but I know how to be calm. <laughs> so, where should we begin? I wonder if this is a good block to do. Well, maybe it is. Let's start with the buttonhole stitch. You come up. No, I'm not using a hoop. You know me. You go down and you come up right at that seam line. Thread under like that, hold it with your thumb. I'm going to do two the same size and then one bigger one. Well, almost the same size. I am using, I can see the seam line, as a vague guide. Otherwise, I am winging it. Practice winging it. Check your perfection at the door. The best way to get even stitches, if that's important to you, is to practice. Same way you get to Carnegie Hall. Practice, practice, practice. Almost done. Just go in right there. tie it off. That is the buttonhole stitch. It's very easy. Okay, let's do 
with yellow because I have a big long string of it. Let's do a row. Oh, I hate that. I hate those strings. Cut them, don't pull them. Okay. We're going to do a row of daisies right here. You, to make daisies, you use the lazy daisy stitch, which is a loop. Don't pull it too tight. Do that better for you. This same stitch made, not only did it make these, but it made these and part of these. So it's versatile. I actually use it a lot. And come to think of it, it makes also, oh that one's, that one's wild. It makes this chain stitch. It's just, well you'll see, you're making continuous loops instead of just one. So it's kind of a must-have. Kind of a must-have in your stitch repertoire. I would like Clarice to explain to me how she made all those little daisies on her crazy quilt block. The little ones with the open centers. Clarice, I must know how you did that. Please link me or explain in your own words or do a tutorial. <laughs> would be even better. Okay, so... Also, with this yellow, because I still have some left, we are going to add some straight stitches here on these things, on the tall ones. So you make three straight stitches, more or less the same size. Then we'll use a different color to put the centers in them. Now see, I probably wasted thread by doing that backwards. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it correctly. I do the up and down one first, then I should go this way. more or less the same size. <laughs> In my case, you know it's less. I'm 
Now this last one over here, I'm only going to put this like that. Since we have purple, let's make our French knots in purple. I like to wrap mine three times. You can wrap two times, you can wrap four times. I wrap mine three times. If I was doing those delicate petals on a feather stitch leaf or branch, I would probably only wrap twice. But this needs a standout. Oops, I keep shaking. I'm so sorry. Shaking the camera. Okay, since we have purple left, let's make that chain stitch. And let's make it, how much do I have left? I want to have enough. I guess we'll start here. If I have to reload, I have to reload. So I make little loops like you're going to do a daisy but instead of going back down you're going to make another one same place where your thread was you go down and you catch a loop and I like to make mine meander And you can thread the ribbon through them or whatever. Put some buttons on it. Very versatile. I'm going to do one more and stop. And we'll finish that later. But let's use this green and make a feather stitch. And let's make it on this seam where the daisies are supposed to go, but we can make daisies on the feather stitch. <laughs> okay, you go down and up like that. Okay, I'm gonna do a double because I did two here. Now I'll do two, you loop it the other way and you angle your needle the opposite way. I'm kind 
coming back this way. I sometimes do these all over to make branches or seaweed, not like not just on the seam line. They're, they make great leaves. Utilize your thumbs. You have opposable thumbs for a reason, right? So now that daisy is like a sunflower. Do like that. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. So, so, do you understand now? French knots, straight stitches, buttonhole. Oh, herringbone. Let's see, do I have enough on here? Maybe. It kind of looks like a glorified cross stitch. You come up and hold your, go right, take your thread to the right, and then go take a parallel back stitch. Then hold it with your thumb to the right, bring your needle, do another parallel back stitch at the bottom. See what it does? This is a thinner thread. I don't know where I got it, but it has that twist that I like. I like the embroidery floss for the delicate stuff. I like to just use one or two strands Et voila. You can add those little oh, I added one loop with some straight stitches. You can do a multitude of things in there. So, I don't want to use yellow again. How about some red? Yes. Yes. Oops. Again with the camera. I'm so sorry. Barbara, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm shaking this camera. And put 
little straight stitches in the same color or in different colors. It's your crazy quilt. Do what you want. Right? Am I right? So you're like, okay, those colors. Yeah, because remember... have all these misfit, misfit blocks and I want to put them together into something horrendous probably but it's going to have different colors and different everythings but it's different everything Okay, this is the one I want to show you if I can find it. There it is. I didn't do it on this. But when I do this, I like to use also the thinner thread. But that's that feather stitch. And the lazy, half la lazy daisy stitch. And it's got some beads in there. But anyway... So anyways, it's going to be a true crazy quilt in that it's going to be, have all these different stitches, all these different colors, all these different colors of blocks. I will make them work. These are some I did eons ago. But I will make it work. And if you want to send me a block to include in this project, please do. My address is in the thing down there so this has been crazy quilt friday if you want to see any of these stitches again let me know and also let me know anything you want to see let me know because you know i need ideas i got mixed media monday i'm gonna have a vlog coming out this monday wednesdays is journal days which journal do you want to see me work in just tell me, people, I'm open. I'm open to try things. So, I love you, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.